folks, we got a good one coming right here. Uh, this this is episode six of From the Table, and you won't believe who our guest is this week. Not it is it. Cody Hamilton, my good and faithful brother. Hi. Not really faithful to me, but you know. Oh well. Oh, it's already started. Yeah, it's already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All righty. Well, welcome, welcome to the show. Um, welcome, Cody. Welcome. Thank you. Cody, what would you say is your preferred nickname? Codham. Oh, yeah. Codham. Oh, yeah. Codham. 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 Is that a reference to Call of Duty, or is that no. just... No, give us the C-O-D backstory D-Y? to this. Yeah, give us, give us the story. Well, uh, kind of long. Go yeah, for it. Go In fourth it. grade, there was this um, new kid. Mm-hmm. He was from China. Okay. And he was like, like, we were friends. Yeah. And he called me Codes McDodes. Codes like, McDodes? Of, yes. It Codes was just McDodes. out of random. And then he, like, he just, I've been called that for a while. And I was like, that's long. I want to came up, like, a, with a new one. And then I was like, C-O-D-Y. So that's, like, COD. Yeah. And then Ham, because Hamilton. Oh, oh, okay. So, Oh. Yeah. It went to my brain really late there. Yeah. Now I get it. Yeah. Codham. Is Codham it, it, or Codham? Cod. Codham. Codham. That's funny. I like that. Yeah, I remember Codes McDodes. And oh, then I remember. I remember your soccer coach, your old soccer coach. Yeah, he called yeah, me Cody. He, yeah, that yeah. was it. Who was that? Because he had a because um, he had an accent though. His name was Hassan. Yeah. Hassan. Yeah. Oh, was he? Uh, was he Odyssey. from Saudi Arabia? Uh, I yeah, Hassan? I think so. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did he, he worked, go to like the university? He works with Chase. Yeah, he did. Oh, okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I bet I played with him. I used to play soccer in really? college, like intramural, yeah, like, yeah, not yeah, like yeah, yeah, professional yeah. or anything. Mm-hmm. And uh, those guys are insane. Yeah. 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 Well, anyways, yeah. That that yeah. So what was that? What's that look? You just you that just didn't took taste a good. Drink what are, what are you drinking there? Uh, it's called pineapple punch. Pineapple punch. It's from Martin Energy and Nutrition. Martin Energy and Nutrition. Shout out. out. It's one. next to uh, Dairy Queen. That's right. Yeah, right across from it. Yeah. Shout out Martin Energy. Yeah. Non-sponsored. Uh. Well, yeah, so today's episode today's episode is with Cody Hamilton, or you now know him as Cod Ham, yeah. and Caden and I are going to run through some things with Cody. We chose Cody this week. Cody's here. Cod Ham is here because we think it's neat to have siblings in the church and to find out what are their perspectives of being in the same space with each other particularly in a faith community. Oh, yeah, um, totally. I shared that with my brother. How, uh, what y'all's, what y'all's uh, ages apart? What? Do you, do you know it? Four, do you know it down four, to the months? Four right grades. Now, right now it's, it's four grades. But four grades. It's three years right now. Yeah. But yeah. It Right, would right, be right, right. Like at the beginning of the year? Yeah. Until May 7th. Yeah. It'd be four years. Or it's three years until May 7th. About three and, and, and a then half. It's four About three years. and a half. Three yeah. Okay. Years. I was a year and a half. No, I'm sorry. A year and five months on the dot. So I'm August second. My brother's March second. Wow. It and, made it made uh, me sad because like, and I was thinking about high school how there's four years, right. and then I thought, well, maybe I could be in school with him for maybe one year, and then it was mad yeah. heads up. And then, and then yeah, <laughs> and third grade came and K K Dog uh, came in with a small jab there. Yeah. And then he and went then to class. <laughs> yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay, we're going to start this off with a, a, a special game, never before seen oh, or yeah. heard game. First ever. Would you oh. rather resolution edition? So we've Ooh. gone through some of these, uh, actually just one of these with Cody, which we will not do on here because it yeah, may or may not be nice. appropriate. So yeah. we'll, we're going to do uh, run off a few lists with you, Codham, and we're going to see would you rather – have this resolution or this resolution? Oh, yeah. watch, okay. him, watch, watch him put and me on. Watch see. him put me on the spot and be like, "Would you rather have your brother or a million dollars?" And he picks a million dollars. He'll pick the million dollars just because. He's kind of mean to me. Yeah, see, told you. Yeah. yeah, jab back. Okay, here we go. Would you rather resolution edition? This is your first choice. Let's see. Let's see what Codham chooses. All right, make a resolution to give up Netflix or. If you're not a Netflix person, whatever streaming platform you're connected to the most, YouTube. Yes. YouTube. So oh. that would that would work. So let's that's, go YouTube because I could tell me like, yeah, that's not a big ask to give up that. Okay, so make a resolution to give up YouTube 
or make a resolution to give up Snapchat or another social media app that you like? What what would if it's not Snapchat? What what would it be? It's Snapchat. But oh, great. It, no, okay. it would. Snapchat. It would. It would Snapchat the and app. Instagram. The app is. Snapchat. Let's do them both. Okay. You have to give up both of those, mm. or give up YouTube. Which ones are you giving up? Probably Snapchat and oh, Instagram yeah. I because feel, I, I have, knew that one. Like, there, that there's one. messages the too. So, like, I, I would have. I would. It would be hard. Mm. I use Snapchat. But that's the correct probably choice. Probably the most. <laughs> like instead of texting people, I use Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah. And then, since like I can text people, there just you go. Generally, you're already already figuring it out. Yeah. Okay. This one, I don't know if you're going to care, but we're just going to do it anyways. Right. Would you rather watch New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest? So Ryan Seacrest is a New Year's Eve show. He's yeah, the guy yeah, yeah, yeah. that does American Idol. He's the host, host. for American host, Idol. Yeah. Okay. That one's not... not no not light like bulbs Simon are coming Cowell. on yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or watch the Rose Bowl. Watch the Rose Bowl. Okay. Rather do oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. This one's kind of well. It could be hard. Wa- uh, give up chocolate or give up soda. Oh. Give up chocolate. Yeah. Oh what? Would you go really? the other way, Caden? No, I'd give up chocolate, but yeah. I'm I'm just kind of shocked with him. What's I'd your What's I mean, your favorite? Does, is your favorite like candy soda. a chocolate candy? Uh, I'd say Hershey's. He loves Hershey's. Hershey's. Yeah. Yeah. Hershey's and M and M's. Are you a big oh, s'mores yeah. person? No. I'm not that, I'm not that big either. No. Are you? Do you care? Not really, not I'm really. I'm not either. I mean, my favorite Pop-Tart s'mores, but... only thing I'd be missing it's is... It's not warm, so it's not good. The See, unless I'm you a brown warm it up sugar in a microwave. cinnamon. Yeah. That's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. The That's only thing favorite. with chocolate, like cinnamon. if I had to give up chocolate, I'd be missing Kit Kats and Twix. Oh my gosh. You like the you Kit like Kats the crunch. The, 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 yeah. the crunch in a chocolate. Yeah. 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 I like Reese's is my number one. Snickers has made an emergence in me that I like before that. I hated. Peanut butter. I don't mm. see peanut I, butter and chocolate bars. Are you allergic to peanuts? No. Okay. I, didn't I think just you don't were. like peanut butter and chocolate. I was bars. gonna say if you were, I don't think your parents have ever filled out a form that said yeah, Cody yeah, was allergic to peanuts. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, god, I've like, been feeding. He's getting <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> peanut butter is only good on peanut butter and crackers, and maybe peanut butter and jelly. What, what about Reese's? Like, you mean, what I, about don't, Reese's? I don't like Reese's. Is it because there's too much peanut butter for you? Uh, I've never tried Reese's. I just don't like Get peanut butter. Get out. Oh. <laughs> there's a Reese's cup in my office if I had known this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next I one. Just don't Come like, on. Sorry. I don't like peanut butter Brian gets, But I digress. Right here. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Let's Brian, keep going. Yeah. Make 100 resolutions. So you have to stick to 100 resolutions in a year or eat 100 cocktail meatballs. Oh, 100 resolutions. Okay. Mm, that's not... Oh. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I would have done the meatballs, though. Why? <laughs> that's a lot to keep. Yeah, that is a lot to keep. You just do simple things. Watch TV. Two hours a day. Read a book for three hours. <laughs> but the resolutions. Yeah. And... Aren't they supposed to be, like, good for you? <laughs> <laughs> I said read a book. Oh, you did say read a book. For yeah. three hours. Okay. On the TV. Would you rather go vegan for a year oh. or run a marathon? Oh, run. Oh, my gosh. My 20, answer is What, 26.2? Is that right? I think that's right. Run 26.2 a marathon. Two miles. Run a marathon. Or go vegan. Yeah. Run a marathon. marathon all day. I don't have you not. ever had, have either of y'all ever had substitute meats? So they're no, not. It's not meat, but it's supposed to taste like it. I uh, no. don't think so. I doubt it. Burger King has the person. Impossible yeah, Burger. Yeah, yeah the Impossible. That, Try that. I've seen that. Yeah. Not a fan personally. Yeah. Uh, you know, not dogging. Yeah, see, Burger I always, get, they have I good always get a Whopper. Chicken. I'm a Whopper fan. Oh yeah. Chicken. You're, you're chicken a chicken fan. They have good chicken probably, too. Yeah. Surprisingly, uh, and black bean burgers uh, are actually pretty good. Really? They're definitely not. A burger, right, right. But Does it taste like I a burger? feel like I might be able to go a year doing that. A year though, instead of run a marathon, a marathon, like three miles is a lot. Like <laughs> yeah. do that nine times. Well, uh, but I didn't think it's your about, choice. I didn't it's think about choice. the impossible stuff though, because like or like the vegan, the burger, well, yeah, yeah, the burger that's vegan. Well. And it, and, it, and it's more than that. It's like you know, bacon. You can't have bacon. You can't. Oh, have, never mind. You know? yeah, marathon sausage. Bacon. Are y'all really bacon good. or sausage people? Uh, both. You both. Sausage. Sausage. See, I'm I'm bacon hard, hardcore Ooh. bacon. 
I just I don't know what it is about sausage. I'm not if too it was big of a fan. One or the other definitely be bacon because it de- well it depends on what type of sausage you're talking about. Because if it's Bojangles sausage, oh okay, that is, now you bring different. You can't beat that. In. Bojangles. You Bojangles beat is the 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 yeah shop right there. They're catalyst. And then when it's uh, a McDonald's sausage, Popeyes too. I Ooh. love Popeyes. Popeyes. I love some Popeyes. And Wendy's sausage and biscuits aren't that. Bad. They're not bad. They're yeah. they're in the game. There's yeah. some sausages and biscuits that are like good, and then you got like better ones. I mean, you got the ones that just don't even taste like a sausage and biscuit. Go check out. Uh, um, what is it called? Rhett, Rhett and Links. Oh, you yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Good Mythical Morning. Good Mythical yeah. Morning. Oh. Go check out Good Mythical Morning. They rate, I'm pretty sure they rate breakfast oh, yeah. sandwiches. Oh, probably. I've, seen, I feel I've like, seen some of those I've, episodes yeah, before. I watched yeah. those like a yeah. long time ago. Yeah, me, yeah, I haven't watched them in, in, in a while. Uh, they're getting old. Yeah, they are. Okay. Make one TikTok every day for a whole year. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> This can't go good. <laughs> or get a tattoo Ugh. of your mom mm-hmm. on your leg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like face? Miss Chrissy, like... Ms. Chrissy yes, if yes. you're listening, just, okay. you know, go to the other room right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's hard. That is a hard one. Because that's, that's a lot of dedication yeah. to TikTok a whole year. That's a the, lot of pain to describe, get a tattoo. And then that's describe. a lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of like TikTok? Like a, just a dance or like? Uh, just a it could be whatever, day, dude. Whatever it could it be is, five like, yeah. seconds. So like, it could be or, five seconds of me showing my face. And it could also be the smallest tattoo of your mom in the world. It could be almost unrecognizable, like a freckle. What? A, <laughs> oh. Actually, probably. Probably could. I mean, you can't do it. Yeah. Other can't than a dot, too, you can't yeah. really give any detail. Yeah. <laughs> detail. It's like, where's the face? <laughs> mm. Probably the TikTok. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I feel, I feel like I feel that's, like that's I, the I right like that, choice. That's the, yeah. Because you no can, doubt. like, shorten it you know, as long as you want to. It's permanent. Yeah. yeah. It's permanent. And then, yeah. and then you're just going to get a whole bunch of stories. And yeah. Like, and you would be like, oh, just... whoa. Everybody Why do I have like... to explain this? I didn't want to do a TikTok every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. And I love my mom. Yeah. There you go. Boom. Okay. Skipping the one we said we'd skip. All right. Uh, <laughs> switch to a flip phone for a whole year. Mm-mm. I or, have done that before. I have to. Or give up video and phone. Games. Oh, okay. For a year. Flip uh, phone for oh, a year. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Because I, if I if I had a flip phone for a year, I just wouldn't use it. <laughs> Cause I'm I had that for like six months. Yeah. And oh, the flip ooh, phone. Yeah. yeah, and I never yeah. used it. Yeah. So. Did you get deep into any of the settings on your flip phone? How to call people. How to call people. Okay, so now. Right. But I, I was like. So, wait, when you say that question, though, you're talking about, like, video games and phone games. Yeah. So you're telling me, like, Xbox. Mm Mm-hmm. I have to give that up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely flip phone. Heck, You do the flip phone for a year. I was about to say, because I was thinking, I was like, just games on a phone. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, Xbox and, like, all that. I would say even, like, like, even if you don't use a console, like, just whatever you use oh my to gosh. do gaming or do a flip phone. Does it have to be like all the gaming stuff? I Yeah, I would yeah. say. Oh, yeah. yeah, then definitely flip phone. Yeah, yeah flip phone I, for I, sure. I feel, I feel the same way. At that point, then ESPN app would be the most used app on my Xbox, you know. It. Well, and Motorola's coming out with a smartphone that flips, so you could like, yeah, you, you could, could like, yeah, you could get zing. Yeah. What about that? There's like a Samsung phone that can flip, but it's still like. Oh, it, yeah, there is one Samsung that can yeah. flip. So yeah. I guess you could technically still use it. Actually, that. that currently exists, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah That's yeah. out there, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's very weird, though. Okay. This one's, this one's you know, depends on. Well, I'll depends just ask, I'll is. just ask it. Spend New Year's Day with your favorite athlete Ooh. or f- New Year's with your favorite actor. Oh, athlete. athlete. And I, athlete. Now, now, I, now, I would add in there, Ooh, I would on. add in there, let's talk YouTubers, let's talk, you know, streamers. Oh, you mean as celebrities. Yeah, I would say just anyone who's famous for something oh. or someone who's famous 
because of a sport? Athlete. Oh. You, yeah, I figured you'd go athlete. athlete. Who would it be? Kaden, who would it be? Um... I was yeah, say, either either I got Murray? one or I got one or two. Or I got one or two. Yeah. Or I got actually three. John hold Murray. on, hold on, hold on. I got three. Can guess. I guess? Yes, let's guess. Okay. All right. Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Yes. Jason Tatum. Oh yeah. John oh, Moran. Wow, he's on the dot, dude. Dude, I was gonna go golf. That Oh that yeah, makes, Tiger Woods. Yeah, more, let me put Tiger, Tiger Woods sense. on there. Would you put Tatum would Tatum be on the teeter if you're gonna put one on the teeter with Tiger? Oh. Or would you put like Mahomes on the teeter or Jaw on the teeter? Like you mean between at, like the one fourth? of them and Jaw, or it's one between... of them and Tiger? It, I would say Jason Tatum going for Tiger, because yeah, Jason Tatum. He just or likes Tiger. it. Yeah, Jason. I, I've been a Celtics fan yeah. before I was ever yeah into football. Yeah. Or... You got to stay with the OG. Yeah, I'd be yeah. fame. I'd be the fame one though. Well, you. What would you do? Would you um, do? can I pick multiple? Uh, yeah, pick three. Because yeah, sure. pick three. Okay. Sure. Yeah, do your three. Um. Oh well. Because there's three of the one actor. Well, not actor, but like one character. There's three of the one character, which okay. would be Spider-Man, which would be Tobey so Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tobey and Tom Holland. Okay, so do all three Spider-Mans, all okay? Right. And then what would be the athletes? John Morant. Okay. Can I pick well, like a yeah. two-person? Mm-hmm. Uh, Destroying? No. Oh, my. Definitely not. Tristan Jazz. No. I don't the like professor. the basket. No, oh. <laughs> he 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 guess. watches weird. Uh, he watches like <laughs> you don't like the professor. What? I, I mean, I do. Like I just don't watch them on a day to day basis. He I just find he He's, finds himself yeah. whether I want to or not on yeah. my feed. Yeah, yeah. Mm, probably is he's a streamer, but he's like a very low popular streamer. His name's the preacher guy. Oh and my gosh! He's, yeah, he's an actual he got preacher me into too. This. He's, he's an a, actual he's preacher. A, okay, so he's a Twitch streamer, but he's he's like kind of on the low. Yeah. Like he's not so, and he's not huge. Yeah. But how many you know, how many people has he got following? He, well, he's recent, got a couple okay. thousand. Maybe okay. no. Way not more even, than a thousand. No. A hundred thousand. The preacher guy. Yeah. No, he's like fifties. He's in the fifth. Like he's a fifty thousand. No. Fifty people. Fifty people. Fifty people. He's really low though because no. He's a really Why good do you guy. like him? Because he's an actual preacher. Talks. He's about, an actual. Yeah, he's is that his point? He's he's yeah, talking he's a, like yeah, scripture he's a and stuff. Yeah, and he plays video preacher. games. Oh. And then he plays video games. So is he streaming? He streams. In the beginning of his streams, he always has like this God moment. Like yeah. he just takes a break and like yeah, Christian stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he'll play video games for a while. Does it ever creep back in? Like, does he ever talk like his faith while oh, yeah. he's streaming? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Do people ask him stuff? Yes, they ask. Are you an actual preacher? Yeah. And he has in his bio, yes, I'm an actual preacher. Like, yeah. He's like, yeah. If I'm gonna go, my handle's gonna be this. Yeah. My yeah. handle's gonna be preacher I got guy. To. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. He started yeah. preacher guy. Like yeah. the first time I watched him, he and had like what? 10 where can you people. watch him on Twitch? On yeah. Twitch. Yeah. Okay. Twitch.tv slash preacher guy. The preacher guy. All right. Anyone that's been looking for a new streamer, there you go. Funny, yeah. the funny moment when when He's I followed close. him, when I followed him, because you know, it pops up whenever, like for him, when it whenever somebody follows, mm-hmm. he saw me, on there, and, and, I then, and then and then Cody comes busting into my room and's like, "What did you do to me?" That's my what guy, did, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so did close. he see literally the moment you followed him? Yeah, yeah, because it legit oh, pops up funny. on the screen. Uh, now obviously it's delayed for a minute. Yeah, because yeah. it's like cage. And then funny. and then Cody comes into my room and is like, "What? Did I just saw that boy, <laughs> dude. That would be His, like, my you... favorite moment is if someone I follow that I don't yeah, know, yeah. other people know, yeah. it joins. Whether it's an, a live like mm-hmm. Instagram or or whatever or or, or Twitch, uh, yeah, that would be hilarious. He's yeah. like. Like, I would say community, but it's, like, it's just the people watching. Like, they're very nice and stuff. Yeah. Because, like, you, like they can gift, like, money and stuff. Right. And yeah, you like, can donate to his channel. Yeah. Like, gift subs. Yeah. Which are, like, just a subscription. To, like, Grayson use. knows about that more yeah. than anybody yeah. on this earth. And you could, like, do that. Yeah. And then, like, the first, like, five seconds I was, no, maybe not five seconds, but maybe five minutes. I was in there. Somebody gifted me a sub. Because, like, they, there's, like, a dude that has, like, awesome. 400 gifted subs on there. Yeah. He has probably like 1,300 a... subs by now. That's really cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he's, I mean, he's got a couple thousand. He's getting, he gets like a couple money on Twitch. You but know, not um, like a lot, lot. Like, not, not like thousands, but in the hundreds probably. That's really cool. And then he yeah. just started, be- and he started on YouTube. 
So he's gonna get yeah probably more money. Is he is he still is, is he, he low is he, on YouTube? Like he just started? Well, he'll like post clips on YouTube. Is it the same? Uh, like is it the shorts. same username? Yeah, I think so. Just the the preacher guy. I think it's the the preacher guy. Okay. Yeah, I always get notifications on my phone. Okay, this is the last one. All right, it's the coup de gras. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm so nervous. Read a book a week for an entire year, or teach yourself an instrument. I feel mm. like it's got to be like a big one though, because you could teach yourself the kazoo. Yeah, and like oh. no doubt, no doubt. Two days. It's like a trumpet. Yeah, I'm like thinking something band? with some complexities. Okay. Yeah. Instrument. All yeah. The way. Yeah, some, oh, something. Yeah, something you'd find in the band or the you know the piano probably, or even you know drums. Probably like, an instrument, yeah. because probably I instrument. don't want to stay on a book for three hundred sixty-five days. Yeah, well, and that would be you know fifty-two weeks in the year. That's fifty-two books. But yeah, that would you know be. our role isn't how long it is. Yeah. Oh well, it's still an instrument, probably. Yeah, yeah still an instrument. Because you'd like more fun than just I was gonna say. At a yeah, book yeah. And yeah. Just like, you feel like you've come out with something that you can use. I've always liked the drums. Too. Even though reading a book, you can come out with ways to write you know if you absorb a lot of words but yeah. uh i i would i would also agree yeah well, that's interesting mm-hmm. resolutions would you rather yeah mm-hmm. good job cody good job Yay, me. good job Cody. yeah <laughs> all righty well this is uh part of the episode where you're well i guess this from the rest of the episode to the end is where really we get into uh the fun stuff the nitty-gritty what i call the fun stuff um, so, Cody, tell us a little bit about yourself and um, what do you do on a normal day-to-day basis. Well, I'm 14. Uh, what grade? Go to, yeah, what uh, grade? Eighth grade. Where do you go to school? Martin Middle School. Boo. Who's your favorite Boo-hoo. teacher? I'm just kidding. Don't say that. Oh, I was going to say it. I know you want to. Um, I'll say on a normal day basis, I just wake up, go to school, get back at like 3.05 three. Oh, maybe. Do Are homework. you a morning person or a night person? Always oh, got to be a night person. That's definitely oh, there's night. no way he's do you not feel a like, morning person. Do you feel like there's a correct stereotype? If you game, you got to be a night person. Oh yeah. Well, you don't have to be. Like you can wake up maybe like seven o'clock to do streams. If you're like, if you're, if you're, well, you're full time, do you think those if, people if exist? If you're talking about three, yeah. those people exist. I have. I'm, I if you're talking about three in the morning, then yeah, that's him definitely. <laughs> not that's three, a morning not guy. Not three, morning guy. Not, <laughs> morning not guy. Three, in three the morning. Morning. Maybe one or two, and that's like, that's if we're like in a long break and I just like can't right, sleep right, right, right. This, your schedule's like off. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's like in like we a just break. got off our schedules. Yeah, yeah, and I go to bed at nine thirty every night on a school night at least. Right. And then if it's like on a weekend, maybe eleven or twelve. Yeah. It just depends on. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad at all. No. And then I'll get home, do homework, maybe till four o'clock. If I got a headache or anything, I'll just like lay on my bed, watch YouTube, and then I'll get on the Xbox for a while. Do you have a remedy for headaches? Like, do, you, do you have a thing that works best? Um, there's a soap. Okay. That Buff City soap. It's a shower fizzy, and okay. it's called Hey Headache. I have not done that. Oh, and if I've I have, like, yeah, a migraine, like a bad migraine or something, I'll just, like, hop in the shower and put that on the ground, and then I'll just wash away and make my head feel better. How long does the fizz thing last? Well, if you're dropping water on it, like, two minutes. But maybe... Yeah, it's just like dousing yeah. water. Yeah. 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 If it's, and then if it's just like coming on the thing, like, yeah. you know, slowly hitting it, probably right. five to ten minutes. Okay, so pretty much a whole shower and then time. I'll, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. I needed to know that because I get headaches. Oh, yeah. Like I had one last night. And yeah. then I'll take mm. ibuprofen or yeah. Tylenol. Okay, all right. So normal stuff, but mm-hmm. your secret sauce mm-hmm. is yeah. from Buff City Soap. Mm-hmm. Hey, headache. Mm-hmm. Hey, headache. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Right as you walk in, like, from the, uh, I forgot the name of the street, but, like, on the front entrance, on not Lindell. the back. Yeah. That. Yeah. Uh, it's just to your left, like, where all the shower fizzies are. And okay. you just. If you're in the Martin it's area. On the, it's on the yeah. Yeah. Martin that, area. Yeah. Go to that hey, location. Hey. Go to the left. You got a headache. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> headache cure right there. There you go. Mm-hmm. Free advice. All right. Mm-hmm. So. What is it? so so you know obviously I do like the soundboard and stuff mm-hmm. back there and obviously you know you've quoted before 
hey, I'm going to steal your job. Yes. Do you want to, like, <laughs> honestly, honestly, <laughs> like, as your role in the church, like, maybe when you get into, like, high school or something, mm-hmm. trying to trying to steal my job for sure? Definitely. Like, oh, my gosh. Do you feel good about that? You feel yes. like that's a place you... You're yeah. interested in, because so, I think now, now I think um, a a lot of people make assumptions that if you're a certain age, or if you're a certain age and you play video games, I that yeah. that automatically yeah, yeah, means yeah, 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 yeah. that you're yeah. into all things mm-hmm. tech, which tech. is yeah. not totally not true. Totally true, but yeah. I mean, in a way, it is. Right. I know I a know. lot, like with like HDMI and, and like other like important stuff, like yeah. cables and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and it's not hard, really. Not yeah. Once like once you get yeah. through yeah. the training and stuff, yeah. yeah. It's just doing. Uh, it's just doing it. The soundboard yeah. doing is, is the learning. Yeah, the soundboard seems easy though. Yeah. There's a, well, not easy. No, so I would say it's it's, it's, it's decently yeah. easy once, once you, you get, get it on set there, up. Dude, yeah. I remember. I so y'all's role as brothers, it was flipped. So I would watch my brother. Most of the time, I, sometimes I'd be back there. It was just because I was older. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. I, I just didn't, I, for whatever reason, being the older one, I was like, I don't care what he does. And, <laughs> uh, but I did start like watching services with him back there. Mm-hmm. I thought that stuff was rocket science. Oh yeah. I was like, how mm-hmm. do you understand do you do this? all yeah. this? There, no, we go uh, to my my grandpa's church up there in Clarksville or whatever, they have, and he yeah. he took us up to like the tech stuff they have back a whole there. entire oh my room gosh. like they have a whole entire room yeah. and, it's, and it's not even in the sanctuary it might be the yeah, so- I've heard, well, I've not, heard mm. some churches have that yeah, if, they got a they got a tech so room. you can like fully hear no distractions yeah yeah, yeah. and it'd be like I nobody be, can hear you yeah right it'd be yeah, the yeah. size of that half of the room i bet they have a mic to talk yeah, back yeah, to yeah, people yeah, yeah. i think they do i think, that would be I, cool. I think so yeah yeah but yeah, it's so, really cool. Yeah. So you're in, you're interest you're interested in that. Definitely. Yeah, that's cool because we need people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Back up. The only thing like that seems hard or like take a little to understand is probably up. the Mac, and like doing right. the screens and stuff. Right. Because Mac is its own yeah. universe in and terms of its way it operates. That mouse, it's like. <laughs> you, you, you press, you, like, you no press the left Where's button. The... <laughs> you press the left button, and it'll just do like, it's like settings, input. It's something. like when I was talking about the PlayStation Two and yeah. the power button and the mm-hmm. the tray yeah. were hid. It's like that's what Mac does. <laughs> I was I was it's about I was I was about to say I thought he was just about to say the hardest part of waking up. I said I said waking up. Wake it up. That's yeah, the hard waking part. up. That really is the hard part, though. You know, it, oh, like, yeah, man. every morning for it's sure. just waking up because you know you'll come to church. In. You might think you're woken up, but. You know, in your mind, you're just like, oh, gosh. I, I feel though, I feel the same way. Even people that I think would say they're morning people mm-hmm. also have a hard time. Oh, yeah. 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 It's yeah. just like, mm-hmm. what? how many times are they going to hit that it snooze? Takes, I think that'd be, <laughs> yeah. if you don't take a shower, well, after you, if you take a shower in the mornings, then you oh, feel yeah. like then you're then you're woke up, yeah. And then yeah. Are you, you, like are you a shower at night or yes, shower in the morning? Okay. All right. Yeah, not yet. I cannot get up in the mornings. But do you feel I've taken you feel in the good though, like getting oh, yeah. out, yeah. going through a routine that doesn't include the shower in the morning? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wake up and then like got thirty minutes to forty five minutes to get ready and then go to school. Yeah, yeah, and this is all fully relevant to the conversations I we're could, having. So, I could, oh yeah, definitely. I could take a shower if Obviously. I wanted to, but like I well, I took one for like two days, and this was in like elementary school, fifth grade. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I cannot do this anymore. Cause <laughs> I do not want to get out of bed. Now, have like, you heard early? the habit thing? Like, how long you have to do something mm-hmm. before you, like, I guess you stop thinking about it like you did before. I think it's like somewhere around a month. Mm-hmm. If you do something for yeah. about a month. Yeah. You'll, it comes normal. You're like almost your perspective changes. But. Yeah. It's almost but, like you're supposed to. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right, kind of like right. how I did with golf. Like, yeah. Like, kind of like how we were talking about last week, you know, I didn't touch a club ever until, yeah. like, April or something. And then, yeah. you know, I went after the after the season ended, after my season ended, every day I just went to the golf course. Because, I mean, I had nothing right. to do, and it was still warm outside. And then I just yeah. went every day, and then it just became a habit. And, and there's, you know, like, little things you and can And, you know, on. after a month, and then, you know, basketball season starts kicking in, and I'm like, yeah. oh, I won't be able to go to the golf course. I was right. like, ah! And then right. But, yeah, that goes around. back to what you say. Yeah. A month. He hasn't, well, since winter's, like, Yeah, now here. I've just kind of just. He's falling off a little bit. Yeah. 
I feel like golf and actually you could use gaming too. Yeah, you could use mm-hmm. gaming. Not... Golf and gaming are like a great example of how like a like a Christian life it, uh, revolves itself in mm-hmm. learning. Because yeah. like if we use like an example of math. Uh, in order to get to say, I don't know, name a, a higher answer. level man, a, a, oh, uh, oh, like a pre-cal. higher level man, pre cal. Let's say if you need to get to pre cal, you need to understand pre algebra first, yeah. mm-hmm. algebra, geometry, one, algebra one, algebra two, you know, trig, geometry, trig. Like there's a there's a learning that it's almost like a a prerequisite. You have to complete that before yeah. you can get to that. Mm-hmm. And once you get through that, it it almost becomes ingrained in you, and you just keep moving almost like a ladder. You just keep moving yeah, up just to the up. higher advanced mm-hmm. learning. And I feel like gaming golf relate similar to a Christian life because you actually go back a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you think you might have a year where you completely understood what the Trinity is, mm-hmm. how God mm-hmm. is three people, but you're going to have to circle back to that because that's a hard concept. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that because you lost your understanding of it that you've you've descended (laughs) down the ladder of Christianity. It's just the process of learning, which is the same in in gaming and stuff. Like if you – and and golf, you know, there's like specific things you can work on, and you can do those on the regular, Mm -hmm. and then one day you just – you're not good at it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that you stopped practicing. It's just that that's like, that's it's the just, rotation yeah. that it went through. I feel, I don't know. I feel like, it's I don't like, know. What do y'all think about that? Always on, the, well, when you like, let's say like you go to the driving range. Yeah. And like, you'll do good. And then like, you'll get to the golf course. Like first oh, this three, happens with, this maybe happens first with... two or three holes. Mm-hmm. You think you do awful. Oh, yeah. And then when you get to like six and seven. Yeah. You like get you're in the close flow. to par. You're in the flow. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just keeps going. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like uh I feel like if we're talking golf, if I warm up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of times. And I then I, and then you do that and then it just <laughs> make it doesn't work. And I'm like, Well, what the heck am I supposed to be here for, you know? And a lot of people a lot of people uh in gaming too. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. People even warm up on gaming. Probably, yeah. you'll do oh, it. Yeah. yeah, you'll do it. You do a couple rounds before you'll actually. If you're like, on, yeah, if you're streaming it, you'll do a couple rounds before mm-hmm. you really get in it, mm-hmm. and then you'll and then you'll go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean that relates to Christianity, yeah. you know, too. Like you'll you'll Lord, um, it's like it's like the it you can. You're like you're on a you're like always on a journey of learning. I think that that's always yeah, in, that's yeah. always that's what we always hear mm-hmm. that you're always in a journey of learning. And there's part of it that's individual, but most yeah. of yeah. it is community based. If you get yeah. like a new game, you gotta right. learn. Right, like mechanics. and you might even like in the example of like a role in a church that we all have to play mm-hmm. at the soundboard. Yeah, like you might have a different perspective of the soundboard. Mm-hmm. If Caden was not there, yeah. you know, yeah. I would have a different perspective of like church what? if my brother, you know, hadn't been as involved as he was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Our parents, both, mm-hmm. luckily, both sets of our parents have been heavily involved in yeah. church. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's been like a, a model that, like, you know, we always mm-hmm. have something that we can be mm-hmm. doing. Like, there's like a real true value in us being here. It's not mm-hmm. just checking an attendance box. It's like, if you're it's here, just, yeah, here, then we can do some things, yeah. you know, that we hope we can do. And if mm-hmm. you're not here, it hurts us. Great, mm-hmm. a, a great example of like, kind of like what we're talking about. You know, you might like Lake Junaluska, right? That is favorite place like, to be. Yeah, yeah. church, anything. no doubt. Yeah, you know, you might feel like you kind of broken down and stuff, and then you realize, hey, I paid for this trip to go to Lake J, and. Yeah, and then yeah, and then it, it is comes always, at the perfect time. You know, it's always it's like, those last you know, couple days. Community like, oh, wise, community wise, not even as a community. You know, yeah. these these college or not college church churches church, churches. Yeah, yeah, like youth groups, groups all mm-hmm. all over the area. Like, yeah. I mean, oh, dude, they're everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. They're like we went. Like I remember Florida. We went, you remember yeah. that one? Yeah, yeah, that was nuts. Yeah, 
I remember we went with Medina. You know, obviously mm-hmm. we knew nobody from Medina, I, except for the pastor. Yeah, there, Matt. But, yep. Yeah, Matt. And you know, I mean, it was honestly cool. Like you know, just yeah. being able to have like what kind of feels like we're already we've been friends for years. Right. Uh, you I know. had that. I I thought that same exact thought the other day. So uh, obviously. We, we are continuing to have tornado relief teams yeah, yeah. come in, and and one's one's been here. Um, well, they left about two weeks ago mm-hmm. on Wednesday, and they have a similar. They're obviously in our, our. They're they're in our same denomination. They wouldn't have to be to, to be housed here, but they they just happen to be, and because I know that they know things about church that I know and that I'm familiar with, Mm -hmm. it does feel like, I don't even know your name, but I feel like we're family Yeah, because you have this just like sense of like peace and and welcoming. And Mm -hmm. I know that I won't even have to know like who you are, your hobbies and interests before I can actually Mm -hmm. think that I know you, Yeah, Mm -hmm. which is a really cool part, especially of like Junaluska, like as y'all mentioned, because that you can go there and know, I don't even have to know your interests and I can have a conversation with you. I feel like God just brings us together. It is. It, it is really cool. And you don't understand. It's hard to It's hard to get your mind there mm-hmm. before. Yeah. Even it's, though you kind of realize it, but you don't mm-hmm. understand the magnitude yeah. of it mm-hmm. until you're in the moment and you're yeah. like, oh, man, I'm so glad like yeah. I'm here. Yeah. You know? Somehow, some way, God yeah. think, just oh, brings us together. Yeah, like a ahead. lot of people, like, include with, like, God moments and stuff. Yeah. I think... People or God's bringing people more or more people to the church because, like, tornadoes recently. We've had two yeah. in the past month. Yeah. And. Yeah, you. Yeah, like, obviously, and particularly as uh, as United Methodists, we wouldn't say that God caused a tornado. Yeah. But we yeah. would. But we would say that God uh, is bringing us together through a disaster. Uh, because it is, uh, it it's it's a moment where community is needed more than any yeah anything. I mean, yeah. really recent, you know, yeah. in recent like year history. Yeah, like this is a big this moment for huge. West Tennessee, yeah. for for Kentucky, mm-hmm. um, to Mayfield. to know that you know rivalries of schools don't matter. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. where you live in the neighborhood doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Who you hang out with, what your belief is, yeah. does not matter. Kind of like how we talked about in the Christmas episode, one of those yeah. Christmas episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it doesn't matter, like, what, well, like, in Christmas, like, you know, pe- people just came yeah. together and celebrated Christmas. Right. Yeah. You know, no matter what they were or what, you know, they exactly. had dealing with them. Yeah. You know, and kind of like with the tornadoes, too, you know, it doesn't matter, yeah. like, who you are. I mean, just help helps and, right. you know, and I, comfort. I, I think that, like... In the in the concept of a disaster, that the disaster or any kind of like a major moment in your life where people mm-hmm. have to come together, yeah. where you 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 aren't even thinking of differences any, anymore, uh, those moments I think are supp- I think God I I I like to think that God would say in those moments those are what is like a waking bell. For us yeah. to begin to move in a new way of thinking about how the differences don't matter yeah. ever, and how do we continue it through disaster? Because we're very aware of it in a disaster yeah. or any kind of scenario where yeah. you need people together, and in the moment you're fully aware that 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 it just makes sense to you. And then mm-hmm. when you get months down the road that you're removed from that situation, mm-hmm. it becomes less and less significant to All you. Right. And I feel like. Like those those kind of moments are maybe what God God says is this is where I I'm trying you know uh-huh. to get people to understand that we want to, we want to move this into the new way of living. I feel like that's the new way. Like yeah. when we hear like yeah. there's a new way, mm-hmm. and the yeah. new way's old. Like you know yeah. we you know the 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 testaments are. Centuries yeah. and centuries old, so n- we're not talking about new like it's the trend yeah, trending really, on yeah, Twitter or anything. Yeah. <laughs> but, the newest, but, <laughs> newest thing available. News right not now. that new, yeah. but it's it is it is like uh, it it just takes investment in each other, and mm-hmm. and like we were talking the other day 
uh, when you're close to someone that's different than you, you you have a different opinion of right. your differences at that mm-hmm. point because yeah. you know them as a person and not mm-hmm. as a belief that they have that's mm-hmm. different from yours. Yeah. Yeah. I think one life experience we've both had, um, I think, I don't know what grade you were in. I think you might have been in second. For what time was it? Like it's 2016. Yeah, um, probably. Or 15. Yeah. No, 15. Primary. Um, Definitely primary. When, Seven years. Yeah. Six, six and a half. Yeah. When Definitely our, primary. When our, when our dad went in the hospital, you know, mm-hmm. he had a heart oh. attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were, in mean, se- you were in second? Yeah. Yeah. And you I was in either se- second, six, six, six. second yeah, or okay. third. I was I was just starting middle school. Yeah, probably And second. you were in second. What time of the year was it? Like the very beginning, like September. Okay. Like I, I, beginning I, of school I year. I forget the date. Oh, beginning of school. I thought you – Yeah. September when he, when he first got the heart the attack, that was – Yeah. You know, I mean – that itself, you know, through the whole hospital visits and all that, really, af- after that, brought us really more together yeah. as a family of yeah. ours. Because like, yeah, he yeah. started he started to go to church more with us. Yeah, after yeah. his heart attack. After that, yeah. Because before that, I mean, it it just didn't feel like it was like it was afterwards. Right. Like mm-hmm. you right. know what I'm saying? Like right. with with us, like that that's got to be the biggest. Yeah. For like sure, example mm-hmm. for, for sure, because that was that was huge, and that was just you know. I, I remember, th- I remember like like right as this happened, like mom was like, "Y'all need to like we're get we're like y'all are gonna go with the McCombs for now." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that night. And then like mom said, "I'm bringing dad to the hospital. You're gonna go over to the neighbor's house, and you're just gonna wait till Sissy gets here, which yeah. is our grandmother." Okay. So we were just over there for an hour. What is that is Sissy your mom's mom? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And we were over there for like an hour, just waiting, and like. What was going through stressed, your head? Like just. Well, we were we were just stressed. Yeah, I was just, you know, with me, I was just like, I I don't even know what just happened. Yeah. Like out of nowhere, mom's just like, getting or like not getting the car, but like, come outside. We're gonna go over to McCollins real quick. Mm. Like. No, because we went well, to, like we went that. to the hospital. They picked us up. At the hospital. They did? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, the McCollins, you did, the not, McCollins I mean, did? Yeah. Picked well, you up at the hospital? Yeah. yeah. And then Sissy came over? And then we over. sat at their house, and then we stayed, like, the, like when Sissy got here. Mm-hmm. We went over to our house, and we were, like, there for a week with my grandmother. Mm-hmm. And then Mom came back, grabbed more, like, clothes and stuff, and then left again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's I really mean... Yeah, I think, I, I mean, honestly, though, that experience of just kind of, because, I, I mean, I've had grandparents that had died before that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And obviously, I was sad for those, yeah. obviously, but, you know, I, right. I, with it being my own father, you know, kind of being mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. little closer, you know, obviously, it hurt a lot more, but, yeah. you know, I think it just kind of brought us together as, Absolutely. more together as a family, closer to God, honestly. Right. Mm-hmm. Closer to church and right. you know going to like events did related you feel, to that. Did you feel that you got closer with your church? Yeah, through no through doubt. that, with no doubt. like church and no family. Doubt. Yeah, yeah. Because we well, I wouldn't say we ate at the table like just the dining room table. Yeah, much. And then like after that, we yeah. ate there like every single day. Yeah. So, yeah. And we go and 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 I I as y'all say that I remember when my dad got diagnosed with uh, cancer oh. I remember that moment like, yeah I'm sure y'all remember the exact moment where you were yeah mm-hmm. all the details of mm-hmm. the like oh, in yeah. the room where you got told mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and I would agree like we we became closer after that and we like you know, like those conversations that you try to have or you try to ask your parents, like in your head, and you're like, I can't ask that. Yeah. And then, like, something like that happens, you're like, mm-hmm. I can ask it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it wasn't ever a thing. I just yeah. made it a thing it in my just, head. Yeah. <laughs> that I couldn't do that or we would never be a family that would do that. Mm-hmm. And then and then a moment occurs and then and you and then you look back and you're like, that was so silly yeah. that I thought mm-hmm. that I couldn't get there with mm-hmm. with my parents on another level mm-hmm. that uh, – that, they probably always wanted me to, but yeah. I, I just can't get there. Yeah. Yeah. 
but yeah that i i would have to say that's definitely the biggest moment we've had yeah. you know mm-hmm. with what well, what we were saying before obviously you know right. being closer to god and all that right. like one specific moment that moment right there after right. everything which i mean and like my first time to like jay like, yeah. it was like the yeah honestly that experience, experience too that experience like with moved god. me a little bit yeah the very first time at Lake Jumaska? Yes. Is that what you're not saying? Not really, not really the very first time. Well, for you, maybe. For you. But for me, I don't know. Like, after being there for a couple of years, you know, the M1, when we changed over to M1 yeah. for maybe, like, the second time. Yeah. Or the, or the, I forget how many times we've been there with the M1. Group. Oh, the M28 yeah. thing? Or the M28, yeah, um, not M1. M28. I think three or four. Three or four? No, our, well, it's, cause uh, maybe the, three because we had to go, we had to skip the year with COVID. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I, probably I, three. I was looking so forward to that. I know. You yeah. know, they did an online one that year, really? too. But I it was just hard. That. It was because yeah. they weren't even at Lake Jay. They yeah, were, they yeah. were, but, uh, I watched a little bit of it uh, just because, you know, the, they're, they're right, cool people. Right. But, yeah, I mean, like, probably the second or the third time. I didn't really feel, well, because the first time we went, it wasn't with the M28. No, it was Lake Junaluska staff. Itself. Yeah. I like I feel that. like I we really did two li- of really those. I feel like we did a ski yeah, one I and I a was, summer I one. one I yeah. I now, really, I mean, I really like that one. Bad. I really like both of them mm-hmm. equally, but, you know, I didn't feel as, like, more towards, like, the last of my visits yeah. so far. Yeah. I felt more connected yeah. after that. Yeah. Because I, I agree. Just the way they handled I agree. it was awesome. I think uh, that that the mo- the model that they choose to use for that camp is really well represented in what we're talking about in the sense of a community around yeah, you yeah. is that you get a sense when you go to that, that there are a lot of people mm-hmm. that are there specifically mm-hmm. to know who you are. Mm-hmm. Um, I immediately felt that like, I mean, literally getting to our house and going to get like our welcome packets, and then yeah. all of us going down for that pizza yeah. time mm-hmm. at the gym. Oh, uh-huh. Like I, I immediately remember thinking, how many people are going to come up yeah, to me and ask who I am, yeah. <laughs> and were, then remember small, my name? <laughs> yeah, you were a small group leader, though. Was that your first year being a small group leader? Like the recent? No, oh, okay. no. This last year was my first year doing an adult, being the leader for the adult groups. Oh. Yeah, that was the first time. Okay. The other times, I was in an adult group. I wasn't the leader. Yeah. I was just participating in it. Okay. I was I was like what y'all do. I was just yeah. you know joining one. Um, but yeah, I I feel the same way, mm-hmm. and I feel and, and and I feel like that's always the goal, you know, at in, in our church community, is to feel like we we are asking we are getting to know people, and people are getting trying to get to know us, mm-hmm. and that like y'all have already said it very like perfectly but it doesn't matter what your age is there's a role here mm-hmm. yeah. and yeah. and and they're not roles just to make up just to give right, somebody right. something to do right. it's not those kind of roles they're roles that like if you if we have people that do these and that that's like part of your passion in the church it will help us be better at just being people like it'll be, yeah. it, it, it's helpful to communicate what we hope. It, it helps us raise money for for nonprofits and for disaster relief. It helps us create events that we want to have, like mountaintop moments. Because like mm-hmm. y'all stories about your dad's heart attack is like the version of a mountaintop, like Lake Junaluska, but in the depths of a valley. Yeah, it's like the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. It's an incredible, joyous feeling at, at, at a camp or any kind of mountaintop moment, like a discovery. Mm-hmm. But it's also you get the, uh, the just as much energy into a moment when it's a very deepening, yeah. uh, fearful, uh, confusing, angry moment in your life. Mm-hmm. And both of those moments seems like those are like the times in our lives where it recenters us. Yeah. And directs us mm-hmm. into where we, where we before were just f- either forgot, yeah. you know, our role and how mm-hmm. important we are, mm-hmm. uh, or we forgot how special it is yeah. mm-hmm. to have a community like this around you mm-hmm. that are gonna. S- they don't ask questions. They're just like, oh, I'm yeah. going to help you, mm-hmm. whether you ask yeah. me or not. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, how, that's how a lot of people, <laughs> you know, with us when yeah. 
or or, 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 or dad had the heart attack. You know, yeah. I mean, a yeah. lot of people like offered like literally anything. Yeah. You know, and the kind of, and obviously like right now with the tornadoes and yeah, all that. I mean, well, saying like keeping on like God moments and like recently for like because of the tornadoes, we were going to Paducah once and we went through like kind of where the tornado was going through, mm-hmm. like to Mayfield. Oh yeah, through Mayfield. And there was yeah. just like trees blown down everywhere. Yeah. And then we went past this church. It was like a decently large church, mm-hmm. like ours. Yeah. And there was just there was people staying there. And, like, yeah. they could have had, like, a really big moment yeah, I, with God. I mean, so it's, it's not just, like, like just, well, here yeah. is yeah. what you're trying to say. Mm-hmm. You're trying yeah. to say, like, I mean, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, and that, and that, uh, that kind of, like, points back to, like, these people two weeks ago who were here from Georgia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, like, it didn't really matter where your location was. Mm-hmm. Like, I already feel yeah. connected to you because we have yeah. a shared experience. Yeah. We, we've bonded yeah. through something that yeah. you've done in Atlanta and yeah. I've done here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, do, it doesn't matter, you know. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean now, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to belong to the United Methodist Church or you have to belong to the church for me to have a shared experience with you because, I mean, good grief. Look at people in the communities right now that are helping and who knows some people's backgrounds. It just yeah. doesn't matter. They had, well, yeah, we did something. Well, the church did something. Yeah. Like, they got toys yeah. for, like, the people at Dresden. Right. And we went with Yeah, we went Mom. and donated them. Yeah, yeah we, like, we, ha- we, yeah, loaded, yeah, yeah. we loaded up yeah. the bus. Yeah. We loaded, like, everything up yeah. in the back of the bus, and we had to sit in the front seats. So. Yeah. And then we rode them, and we just, like, there was, like, tons mm-hmm. of people there. There was, like, two trailers. Not even, well, not a trailer. It looked like a, like. Just full of toys. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was, like, that one, uh, I don't know the size, but, like. Yeah. Like a mini home. Yeah. Like a very mini home. Yeah. And they just be, and then mom said they're like, those two trailers filled to the pack of toys. Yeah. And yeah. like ch- stuff that people need. Yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. no one's asking questions like yeah. that we, I mean, that we needed, usually yeah. ask. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> you, we, we stop asking them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. the, that's the cool thing. Cause like, I think y'all, y'all have said your experience, uh, in the, tr- I would say this for me too. The experience you've had in the church changed through yeah. through a moment mm-hmm. in your family. Mm-hmm. It changed for me, same, um, and it and it and it evolves on how it changes. But as long as we all know, we have we have a a deep connection to this community, mm-hmm. and that the community of people that are part of it deeply need us Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know they need they need us whether we're six years old yeah or two or 40 or 40 or 90 or whatever you're needed one of the most like recent youth things yeah we well y'all were at the gillum's house Mm -hmm. and we yeah for for uh, high school yeah junior high we're here yeah fellowship hall yeah and then they were wanting us to write presents yeah and then there were like ages from 18 to six years old yeah. So yeah. that yeah. was like really That's cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not mm-hmm. as much widespread at ours. Yeah, then, <laughs> yeah but... But, we had like three but most of the time it is, though. Most of the time yeah. it is that yeah. far apart. We yeah. had a most, lot of people. And that's the point. Because mm-hmm. like even, like we're all in youth ministry right now. Mm-hmm. Right. But that doesn't mean you're a 6th or 12th grader. Yeah. The hope is that we have people of four or five generations. Yeah. That are with us because that's what it looks like on Sunday morning, and that's th- and that's what our church looks like, yeah. and that's what everything we do needs to look like. Yeah. Hasn't there been like recently like a growth of people in like uh, services? Yes, there yeah. th- there has been Honestly. because I think that that's the I think I feel like uh, we as a church have gone through something together, yeah. mm-hmm. gone through a transition yeah. of grieving a pastor, yeah. a friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, who, who, who isn't dead? He's coming yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Coming back, <laughs> it's dead. a different, it's a yeah. living grief. Uh, yeah. But but uh, and and we're celebrating someone we knew before that was uh, was still uh, a role in the church, but was doing her role uh, in in campus ministry. Right. And so we've had to like we've gone through things together. Mm-hmm. We've gone through things together. Uh, yeah, I would agree, Cody. I feel like there's been a an uptick in involvement. And maybe that's because, one, we've gone through something like we've just talked about some of the things in our own personal lives we've gone Mm -hmm. through. And the second thing is that we recognize how valuable 
what like one person is, yeah. regardless Definitely. of age, yeah. how valuable each person is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Any final thoughts from you, Cody? Uh, no. Nothing. Not really. Just, just. We got it out yeah. there. Got yeah. it out there. Yeah. 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 Well, I think it's cool that y'all are doing this because, yeah. like, hey, when was hey. the last time we had something that people can look at since COVID? Since COVID. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did wait? What did you just say? I said coo, and I was going to say vid. COVID. Code vid. COVID. Code vid. That'd be your new <laughs> oh channel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Code vids. Code vids. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's that's like K two, because. He's like, I don't oh, know where yeah. he got it from, but he just put the first letter of his name and then tube. I made that up when I was in fifth grade. And now he's, yeah. and now he's, and and now he's know, got hey, merch. Yeah. 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 He's got yeah. merch. He's I've got a K2 uh, sweat, a hoodie at home. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, that I, I, I accidentally ordered a small in. Oh. The day before. So I, got the t- I got a shirt, though. The I day got before t- yeah, the Christmas the service, side. I was like, I was taking a shower. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, I'm wearing my K2 Christmas shirt. Like, oh man! Right was a K two like, Christmas shirt. Yes, I did. I it was had, like I, that was like very the first old. thing I ever made. I yeah. was like, Gosh. you know what? Just for vintage, us, kind of. Uh-huh. Just for us, kind of. And it's smaller That's than cool. my size now, so. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was. I don't know how long ago old. that was. That might have been like three two or four year, years yeah, ago. Yeah, two or three. That's years. a long time. Two or three. To, yeah. yeah, that's a long time to have a brand. Yeah. yeah. He's. Well, I guess he like thought of it like maybe. He probably had it after like two hundred or three hundred subscribers. Yeah, and then yeah, when he, once like he got lot. back to streaming from four hundred to five hundred, it just grew. I remember, I remember when you were s- under a hundred. Yeah, uh-huh. and every week, oh I'd man, be like, Rubik's cube. Oh, wait, what do you got now? Yeah, what do you get? What does he got? <laughs> what is he doing? But it was like there were there were ones you're like, dude, I'm at forty five. Like, oh my yeah. god, yeah, you were at twenty last week. Yeah, you know, and now it's like. Oh, that's Growing. chump. That's chump mm-hmm. change, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Well. Anyway, thank, we want to thank you for coming on the show, Cody. Code ham. Thank you. I mean, yeah. this is very fun. Gonna make a return, probably. Yay! Yeah. Maybe I would even, love to. Maybe even co-host. Co-host. Oh yeah. You know? Really? Maybe. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. After me, though. You can't. You <laughs> take my. You've already taken my job in in the in the hey, soundboard man. industry. Hey, who, who knows? You know, I could. I I could. It, it, it could, could be, be a need, It could host. be needed for me to not be here one week. Oh, yeah. And then mm-hmm. the, 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 the Hamilton brothers. Sub co host. The yeah. Hambros. Sub co host. He's, he's thought about making a podcast at like, just like on his YouTube channel. Yeah. So I think cool. this would be like good for, like, yeah, this is good for, for sure. him. For sure. Because he's been wanting to do something like that for a while. Let's go. Oh, yeah. So oh, he yeah. actually got to finally do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyways, thank you for coming on the podcast. Well, Appreciate thank you. your code. Um, next week, uh, we 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 don't know what we'll do we yet. Don't know we're, what we're gonna leave it to a surprise for y'all guys. We're gonna do. This, we're gonna this, we're gonna leave it a surprise for y'all guys. This has been filmed uh, two weeks ahead of time. Yeah. So we've got some time to think yeah, we got on some, who we're yeah. gonna put in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Well, you'll well, obvi- you'll it's, probably it's gonna be know. a surprise. We'll know by the time this comes out. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. We got no a week doubt. and a half. Yeah, to, we got we got a long we got a while to figure it out. We've got a long list. We mm-hmm. so before we end this, I accidentally deleted a podcast. Oh man, <laughs> that we had, uh, we we had recorded. We recorded it. about it was what be we such, were going to do. Be, a oh. Christmas special. We had all we had these a Christmas things. Christmas special. We had a game on did they candy cane it. Uh, it was, oh, we had a lot of fun. Awesome. And we've got, what would you say, about 20 names? Yeah. we got about 20 names, 20 on, our, names on, on, our, our list. on our list. That's obviously, cool. obviously, Amanda and Cody are awesome. Amanda that's, and Cody, that's really good. That's right. So we'll stay tuned. We've got yeah, people we, we, got, know, we, got, we know we want one on. So some good ideas. You'll, so. you'll know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll be thinking. That's right. But yeah, anyways, I'm Caden. I'm Bryant. And I'm Cody. And thanks for listening to the conversation from the table. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.